In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five uh, circular options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've created this kind of look kind of uh, aluminum pipe and this is from where it will start. When I click, it will show you the first option. You can see here, I've just put this kind of a pink color with the icon step and then below you can add some detailed text. When I click with the different color combination, it comes the second option, the third fourth and the fifth and i have created one more slide where i have used only four options you can see here option one two three and four and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any light gray color background then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the rectangles I'm going to choose the rectangle draw the rectangle this much size you can see here shape outline you can make it no outline make sure to align center and align middle the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to give a gradient fill for this for that right mouse click go to the format shape under fill select the gradient fill now by default you have got four stops gradient stops if you want you can increase or decrease it so let me just go with uh, four or five so the first stop I'm going to check select this one go to the colors and I'm going to give some dark gray color and here also I'm going to select the last one the fourth one again I'm going to choose the same color here and then you can see here this particular one more stop I'm just going to drag this towards the left side and give some lighter color here okay light gray color for this also I'm going to give the light color all right and again if you want you can add one more stop in the center and you can give more light color so this will look like it's a, a, a kind of aluminum pipe all right if you want to give more darker colors you can just select this one and you can give more darker colors all right it's up to you so go to the insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose a rounded corner rectangle draw a rounded corner rectangle maybe this much size and you can see the small orange point just drag this inside not completely it becomes like a oval shape so a little bit like this all right again if you want you can increase the size and shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and let me just make it somewhat transparent then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and let me just give some different color here okay to differentiate and then i'm going to make it one more this rectangle i'm going to place it here don't place it here like that it will be a curved here too much okay so i'm just going to place it something like this where i can see or if i want i can just increase the size of this one you can see here something like this let me just yeah so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this rectangle the blue one first hold the shift key select the second rectangle which is green then go to the merge shape i'm going to make it subtract like this and make sure that this is align center align middle all right the next thing which i'm going to do is to give a 3d look for that go to the insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the the last but one which is the top corners rounded okay just drag this like this shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to send this back okay and here let me just give some different color again to understand it clearly you can see here let me just zoom in a little bit yeah then you can see here the two orange point all right so the top orange point i'm going to select and make it fully round okay and then i'm going to place it like this here can you see here this is ending and this is it doesn't matter it goes outside of this one it doesn't matter okay so let me just uh, zoom out and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut this one because this is a bigger one so i don't want this one to go beyond this aluminum pipe all right for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle like this you can see here i'm going to select remember the shape is very big here okay you can see this much big shape so let me just select this 
hold the shift key select this rectangle now all right make sure that this is properly aligned to the aluminum pipe all right maybe i'm going to make it no outline yeah so let me just select this yellow rectangle hold the shift key select this blue one merge shape i'm going to subtract so i end up getting a shape which looks like this only all right so now i'm going to duplicate by pressing ctrl d bring it down rotate i can make it flip vertical and then exactly put it like this and send this to back all right this one and this one make sure it is properly aligned align i can just make it right okay so let me just zoom a little bit and just make sure that this is properly aligned all right okay so once this is done i'm going to select both of these and i'm going to give something a dark blue color for example and this one i'm going to remove the transparency so it looks something like this again if you want this looks too big you can just reduce the size also it's up to you okay so let it be like this then i'm going to select this one select the gradient fill and here i'm going to give some different color combination again depend depend on you what kind of color you like to choose so let me just choose some a kind of a light and the dark color combination the darker at the edges and the brighter uh, at the uh, the middle okay so let me just select this color sorry this particular step go to the colors i can go to the more colors and you can see here i have got different colors here maybe i'm going to select this blue here and the same blue i'm going to select the end like this and here i'm going to choose somewhat lighter blue okay you can see here maybe i can go with this one i'm randomly i'm just selecting the colors here okay and i'm going to choose the same color and here in the center i can just choose more lighter color all right so it looks something like this can you see here so this particular option is done again if you want to give some a kind of a shadow effect also you can do for this i'm going to select this one press ctrl d all right i'm going to make it a solid color here and i'm going to make it kind of a black increase the transparency and go to the effects under the soft adjust increase the softness all right then i'm going to place something place something like this and then send this to back send back okay so you can see here i've created this uh, kind of a shadow effect as well so now i'm going to select all of these okay except this aluminum pipe and press ctrl g to group it all right so this is the grouping so i'll just show you for example what happens if i don't cut this one okay i'm just going to duplicate this one all right i will un un i will ungroup this so let me just place it exactly like this i will ungroup this one assume that you have not cut this part okay and this is somewhat down so what happens if i select this one and if i group it will not this will not go back okay so that's the reason we are cutting this one here so let me just if you want you can make a uh, design something like this also it also looks uh, good from the aluminum pipe it's getting cut okay it's up to you so now i'm going to select this one i'm going to move towards the left side you can see here now hold the control shift key just drag it here this is for the second one the third one and the fourth one okay so now the because the size is uh, bigger i cannot make it four i can make it three or again as i said if you want you can reduce the size of this but the problem is the moment you reduce the size you have to reduce the size of this also okay or i can just make it more closer to each other you can see here i'm bringing more closer to each other then i can add one more here if you want you can add one more there so again let me just select this one send this to back send this to back and send this back all right you got four now i can just select this one and i can make it in the center you can see here now again depending on the requirement you can choose this one again go to the gradient steps select the first one more colors for example if you like to go with uh, the purple color 
uh, it's up to you for example I'm going to choose some dark purple here and here also some more dark purple okay and the other one I'm going to choose some light purple color you can see here this color and here also I'm going to choose and then I'm going to choose more lighter all right you can see here and for this also you need to choose some for example I'm going to choose this one but I would like to make it more darker so I'm just going to drag this down and click OK and here also I'm going to do the same thing which sorry let me just undo that one and select this color all right so likewise you can just change the color for these other options as well depending on the requirement so the next step is to add some icons the text and some titles here okay for that go to insert icons i'm going to choose some random icons okay so i'm going to just choose uh, maybe this image one i will choose this one this one totally i need four so let me just choose one more or uh, maybe this one and click insert bring this side again if you want you can just make it maybe 0.6 all right graphic fill i'm going to choose with white color and then each one i'm just going to bring it in the center all right something like this then you can go and here you can type for example say option one again white font i'm going to choose the font open sans and i'm going to just put it here this is option one hold the control shift key just drag this one then go here and then go here all right so now i'm just going to make this as option two option three and option four and once this is done you can go insert one more shape which is the triangle small triangle i would like to add some text here make it no outline make it gray color and i'm going to put it here like this hold the control shift key i'm going to add it to the third one select this one duplicate this bring it here flip vertical all right and then i'm going to add it to the fourth one now so go to insert text box equals lorem within brackets one and i don't want this much larger text i'm going to delete this one center align reduce the font size maybe you can give some darker gray and put it here hold the control shift key put it here press ctrl d to duplicate bring it to the second option and drag it here all right if you want you can just uh, do uh, the same line text or it's up to you so now the next option which i'm going to do before the animation is i'm going to group this again so i'm going to select this one hold the shift key this one and this one press ctrl g to group it again select this one this one and this one ctrl g to group it this again ctrl g select this one hold the shift key this and this ctrl g okay so now i'm going to send this back again send back sorry again here send back and here send back all right now let's do the animation part so close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select these four options by holding the shift key and just click it and then i'm going to make it fly in fly in i would like this to come from right like this and right mouse click effect options you can increase the bounce end here something like this and click ok so it comes like this again if you want you can make this all on click so here when i click the first second third and the fourth 
and then you can add this animation so let me just group this one one by one okay this will is is uh, us to do the animation so now i'm going to select this one this this and this i'm going to add animation more entrance effects stretch click ok and stretch i'm going to make it from bottom all right and then this one the first one should go to the first one okay and this should be after previous the second one should go after the second one okay after previous third one should go after the third animation after previous and this is also after previous so these two things i would like to make it and this should come from top okay so let me just show you how it looks now when i click the first one it comes second you can see a third this animation comes from the bottom and this animation comes from the top okay this is the way you can do a simple animation effect to it